Hey, are you still spending hours manually redrawing PDFs in CAD? Well, if so, it's time to start doing something different. So I want to introduce the brand new HP Build Workspace. So this is a brand new platform that HP is releasing that has a lot of AI driven tools in it. And today we're going to focus on one of their specific tools called the AI Vectorize tool. This is going to blow you away. Absolutely. So the first thing that you want to do once you're logged into the system is to create a project, which we've done, right? So you can do that here, create a new project, or you can select one of the ones that we made. So we have a sample project here called the city of Pasadena, California. And what we want to do is add a new file to this project and then convert this to a DXF file that we can drop right into CAD and start working with without having to do any of the manual iterations. So it's super easy to do. You hit this plus key and grab a new file. So what we're going to do for demonstration purposes is grab the second floor reference plan. So you see it that it will upload it into the platform. And then now we have this eight, this PDF reference file that we can uh, you know, check out and make sure that it's right. So there's a couple ways that we can start converting this into a vectorized version of this. One is we can, if we have multiple files that we wanna do, we can just simply select, check it, and then hit the AI vectorize button. Or you can hit the three dots in the submenu here and then select AI vectorize. Now we can either vectorize the entire sheet or we can just do a section of this um, if you just want to isolate a certain portion of this plan. But for this purpose, we'll do the whole sheet. So there you go. We got the alert that it has been uh, converted and it's ready. And so for now, we can go back into the um, files within the project. And now we can click on this uh, DXF converted image and we can start uh, checking this out. Uh, now, we're, we're doing this in a viewer, right? So it hasn't been downloaded to, the, to our local machine yet, but uh, we can go ahead and see what this image looks like. And as you can see that there have been layers that have automatically been uh, generated and assigned um, for this conversion. So uh, that comes in super handy. But you can scoot around here and you can see, you know, how clean uh, this looks because legacy software that's been around for uh, a while um, can be quite messy. And by the time you do the conversion, there's a lot of manual cleanup that has to happen, which is why that plus the expense of the software is a reason that people haven't really used that that much and typically tend to just bring the PDF into CAD and draw on top of it. So with that in mind, um, now we can go here and again, click, click the three dot menu and we can download this to a DXF file. And there it is. And so now that we have the file, we can bring it into CAD and start working with it. So, you know, think about how much time that it usually takes you to manually do this. And we did it just in a few seconds by adding this to this platform and using AI to do the conversion. So what do you think? You want to try it out? Well, today is your lucky day because for a limited time, we have the ability to get you signed up to try this out for absolutely free. So you'll find the request link in the comments section. Click that and get in touch with us and we will get you hooked up and start converting your PDFs into CAD files using AI.